Yes. There were rumors that there was uh, David Weber series award honor Harrington, and that your name was tossed about for it. Have anybody? My name has been tossed around for honor Harrington. <laughs> <laughs> You would be good. You would be perfect. Oh, yeah. In fact, the author of one of the books that wrote one of the books contacted me in the 90s, and I'm like, dude, if you're going to do it, you better do it soon. I'm 48 years old, okay? <laughs> this is Honor of the Twilight Years. <laughs> yeah. no, uh, it, 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 it's very flattering when people do that. And, and a lot of people have said, you know, wow, I wrote this for you, or I can see you as this part. And, you know, if it ever came to fruition, it would be lovely. But, like I said, you gotta get me before I'm great. <laughs> uh, I'm asking this for my wife. Everybody's sick, I know. That's why I'm not shaking hands. I've been doing the bunk stuff. Okay. Uh, she read my Babylon Confidential. She read my Babylon Confidential. Yeah. Okay. which was a memoir, and the reason why I wrote it so young is because I had something important to say, which was uh, I found a treatment for alcoholism called the Sinclair method, and it has an 80% long-term success rate. And I've been on it for five years, because I was abusing alcohol in the late early 2000s. Um, so in doing this, I started finding that when I wrote the book, people started going on the Sinclair method. I have over 300 people worldwide, just personally, that I counsel. And I have a 100% success rate. So these are people that were either dying or drinking like two bottles of vodka a night or were heavily abusing five bottles of wine a night that are all either drinking normally or abstinent. So it, it really is miraculous. And so I decided, how many people are going to read my book? Not that many. I mean, we sold thousands of copies, but not that many thousands of copies. So what is this society? It's visual. So I thought, I better make a film about this. It's too important not to. Um, so I started a fundly campaign and raised a little bit of money. And then I just did an Indiegogo campaign, which was far more successful. So we raised about $50,000. and We are almost finished filming everything. My director's going to India this week to talk about the third world problem. India has a huge alcohol problem. So does South Africa, many other countries. Um, and we went to Finland to interview Dr. David Sinclair. We went to England to interview the guy that wrote The Cure for Alcoholism. And we're finding a lot of reasons why it's not more well known is because it involves taking a very inexpensive, FDA-approved, generic drug called naltrexone. You take it an hour before you drink, within three months you have extinction in the brain, you're back to normal. It sounds too good to be true, but it does work. And the thing is, nobody's making money off it. So you can order it online, or you can get it from your GP, you do it at home. You don't have to go to therapy, you don't have to go to rehab, you don't have to go to detox, you don't have to spend any money on anything. You don't have to go to meetings. It just, it's a biological cure, it's a medical cure. So it's not dealing with why, why you drink, it's dealing with the fact that your brain is now turned into an addict brain. So it's undoing the condition. Anyway, so I decided I'd make a film, and um, It'll be done in mid-March, thanks to the fans on Facebook, really. My, my Facebook fan page, we raised over $50,000. And people talk about the power of, 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 you know, a lot of people come up and say, wow, you helped me come out of the closet, or you helped me, you know, fall back in love with my, my religion, you know, uh, all these things. But the power of a show, 20 years later, to raise the money, just for Facebook fans, which are Babylon 5 fans, to raise the money that, for a film that is going to go to medical professionals all around the world that could potentially save millions of lives. I mean, that is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. And you will not find that probably in any other genre. You're not going to have a soap star. I mean, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's phenomenal. You guys are amazing. And I keep saying that. I, all of this happened because of Babylon 5. I wouldn't have written a memoir at that young of an age. Nobody would have bought it. Sci-fi fans would bought it. You know? And then they started, people started contacting me directly saying, oh, my mom's an alcoholic. My uncle's an alcoholic. My cousin. And so I started counseling people that are all, have one 
five fans, family and friend. <laughs> and so I started a nonprofit uh, organization called the C3 Foundation. And it's got all the information that anybody can download and everything. And then they email me directly <coughs> and send them a book. I mean, it's, it's, it's turned into this huge thing. And I know within five years, hopefully it'll be really big and then people won't have to suffer. Yes, sir. Oh. 